Hello everybody, it's the 4th of July 2015, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. Now, um, one of my viewers was uh, commenting on the fact that she may like to grow a peach tree. Okay, well, this is my Dixie Red Peach, which is an American variety, which you may remember me showing a video that uh, when I set it about a month or so ago. Now, it's doing extremely well in this polytunnel. <clears throat> okay, so you can see these new shoots. A lot of these have come up, or at least extended significantly, since I have placed it in this pot. Now, um, this is a 35 litre pot, and in that is potting compost, horse manure, fish blood and bone, grow more, and coffee ground. So it really likes it in here, and of course in this polytunnel it's very hot as well. Um, I reckon it gets up to around the high 30s, or maybe even the early 40s during the day, but I do keep the... Uh, I do keep the door open here, as you can see. I've got to stop this swinging, actually. It's uh, getting a bit annoying, isn't it? That's it. There we go. So um, this is the Dixie Red Peach Tree. Now, of course, uh, as many of you know, peach trees and nectarines and almonds can suffer from a condition called peach leaf curl, which uh, mainly happens or starts during the winter when the tree gets wet and the temperature falls below approximately 16 degrees. Then a fungus lives within the tree and then it comes out in the leaves and uh, results in a horrible blistering and uh, the leaves will then fall off and then the tree uh, over a period of years in, uh, may die, it may not even take that long. Now um, one good thing about peach trees is if you keep them dry in winter you shouldn't get leaf curl, he says. I mean I'm hoping that is true so we will see with regards to this Dixie Red peach tree. So I'll just show you uh, the Avalon Pride which is highly affected with leaf curl. Now as you can see this uh, was a beautiful tree once, Avalon Pride, completely riddled with leaf curl. Look at that, all crunchy, the leaves beyond blistering now, dying many of them. So the leaves are falling on the, uh, on the floor here, on the ground. So yeah, this is a, uh, it's not doing, not doing so good this tree, and this is the result of uh, putting a, a tree that's really not suited to our climate outside. I mean, you can spray them with copper sulphate and attempt to keep them dry in winter, and this uh, may protect them from leaf curl. But uh, I didn't, just as an experiment, I wanted to see just how resistant Avalon Pride is to peach leaf curl, and uh, it's meant to be. When the trees mature it then uh, it achieves the resistance but uh, if it can't reach maturity because of leaf curl then uh, there we go so i'm probably going to spray this i'm going to try and save it because it was about 30 quid i believe so there we go that's avalon pride this is what may happen if you grow a peach tree outside and don't cover it during the winter to stop it getting wet if your climate is like that Another option, of course, is to grow one like this, where it won't get wet during the winter. Obviously, when I'm watering it, I'm taking care to keep the water directly in the pot below, which is buried in the ground. Another option to grow a peach or nectarine or something like that is to keep it outside in a pot in the summer, and then inside, take it to, and sorry, then in the winter, take it to a dry place. So you might take the whole pot and put it in a garage for example in the winter of course it needs to be cold because these trees require dormancy in order to uh, fruit and you will need a cooler place to allow the dormancy another option of course is south facing wall um, then you can maybe hang something like a curtain or maybe a, a sheet of plastic polythene something like that and maybe that uh, that could help you to not get leaf curl. Leaf curl is definitely to be avoided at all costs because it more than likely will uh, destroy your tree eventually and of course you'll lose your money if that happens which can be frustrating and uh, my friend had a I believe he said it was a Rochester peach tree which was about 10 years old and it got leaf curl one year and died the following year so very uh, frustrating but of course if you live in a climate where peach trees are suited you should be able to grow them outside and produce lovely peaches, a bit like how we do apples here. So um, hope that's been of some help. And if there's any questions, please post them down below.
With regards to spraying um, the fungicide, the copper sulfate or Bordeaux mixture, you do it after leaf fall and then before bud burst in the summer, early spring rather. Okay, so if there's any questions, please feel free to ask.